Hey everybody, Mike Aganelli back answering more of your social media questions. And we have a great question from Jay. And Jay wants to know, what are tips for fishing rivers? Man, Jay, that's a great question. That's a pretty broad question. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you one big thing that I do anytime I'm fishing a river. And one thing I really focus on is current. And it could be a natural river, it could be a tail race, it could be a tidal river like the Delaware River. I'm always very aware of current. And current is actually going to position the fish and they're going to set up in that current. And what I like to look for when there's a current situation in a river is I like to look for something that is actually going to stop or break the current. A current break. And that could be a bridge piling, it could be a log sticking off the bank, it could be a rock. Something that's there to actually stop the current from flowing. And in those current break areas, I target a couple different places right where that current breaks. You know, the first one I target is what I call the seam, and the seam is where the hard current hits that object and breaks off and creates a little calm spot right there. And um, that's an area of dead current that the fish will set up in. I always like to cast upstream and bring it back down past that seam. The other place I'm going to fish is the eddy. And the eddy is actually the, the extreme calm spot behind that current break. And the current will actually flow backwards and right behind that object, there's a little bit of an eddy. It's another great spot to catch fish. And then finally, before I leave that current break, I'm actually going to take a couple casts on the current face. And that's where the current hits the object and rushes around it. You think there's a lot of a current there and a the fish couldn't set up? But a lot of times, there's a little dead spot right at the face of that current break. So look for current breaks, target the seam, target the eddy, and target the current face, and you're going to catch more fish in river situations. Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. Do you want your questions answered in the next Ike's Tackle Box comment section? Well, here's the way to do it. Go to my YouTube channel, go to my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram page, and ask your question. Do that, and your question might just be the next one answered on Ike's Tackle Box Tips.